aboard! All aboard! Woo! All aboard! Are you on the train? Are you on the train? Hey everybody! Welcome to the show! Today is our 28th show together and I am so happy to see you again! Hooray! I am happy to see you again. Today is train day. Today is train day. This is how you say train in sign language. This is how you say name. My name is Emily who makes music every day. Welcome aboard. Today is train day. Are you ready to get on board? I'm going to say all aboard. That's a question. It goes up in the air. All aboard. That means, are you on the train? That means, are you on the train? You say it. All aboard. That's a question. And the answer is, all aboard. You say, all aboard. If you are aboard the train. Hey, wait a minute. You don't have your train hat on. I'm going to give you a train hat and and maybe even a bandana to wear. Hey, the bandana keeps the smoke out of our faces and we can wipe our eyes if we get dust in there. I'm going to give you a bandana. How about a yellow one? Here, have mom help you put this on. Here's your bandana and here's your train hat. This is an engineer hat. You put one on. Here, here's one for your sister. There you go, put it on your head. You got it, there you go. Moms and dads, you put on your train hat too. Are you aboard? We have to be safe on the train. Oh, did you get your tickets? Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna need a ticket for your train ride too. Tickets please. Tickets please. Here's one ticket. Here's another one. Here's one ticket. Here's another one. Tickets please. Tickets please. All aboard. All aboard. The Music Express. Are you ready to make music? Say, yes, I am. Are you ready to make music? Yes, I am. Are you ready to make music? Yes, I am. Let's begin. All right, let's begin. Okay, let's begin. All right, let's begin. Okay. M U S I C. M U S I C. M U S I C and that is music and that is music and that is music and that is music. Got your feet ready friends? I want you to pound the floor up and down and say yay music again yay music again yay music hooray very good job friends. Let's sing a little song and then we'll say hello. La 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 la
Victoria's been on a train. Aurora and Chow and Journey, yes. Have you been on the train in New York City? Have you? Well, let me tell you, that is a very big train system. There are underground trains all over the world. Some trains go above the ground, the elevated trains, like in Chicago and New York City. Some of the trains go right through the town, above the streets. Some go under, and those are called subways. They're called different things all over the world. The L, the subway, the train, the metro. In Paris, the wheels are rubber, so it doesn't make a screeching sound when they come into the station. But in New York City, oh my goodness, you have to cover your ears because those trains, oh, squeak, 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 metal on metal going down the tracks. All right, friends, now that we're all aboard, let's say hello to all our friends. Are you on board today? Woo woo! Hello, everyone. How are you today? Woo woo! Hello, everyone. How are you today? Here we go. Journey and Chow, even Ellie's Aurora, Ryan and Emily, Rylan.
There's our stopping and going. Will you join in and do it with me? So you got to get up on two feet. You got to get up on, come on, Grandma, get up on two feet. Oh, my excuse that I'm not getting up is if I get up and jump, I leave the frame of the picture and I, I want to be on the picture. All right, so friends, you get up on two feet. It's time to dance. It's time to dance before we get back on the train and sit for a while. You ready? Everybody up there. Stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, 
stop and go. I got a song for you, but before we do that, I want to show you something. Who remembers the first time we did train day? Do you remember? We say, woo, 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 woo. And we have the engine. The engine is where the um, motor is that pulls all the cars, right? You can have one car, you can have two cars, you can have 10 cars, you can have probably almost 100, that's a lot. In the olden days, we said we had to shovel the coal into the fire to boil up the steam, boil up the steam, boil up the steam, and the steam engine would go like this, and pull the wheels around and pull the wheels around. There was a lot of rhythm and a lot of motion going on. Now, if you made your little eggs, oh, can't find them now, but you might have something to clickety-clack, right? We had these out yesterday. John the Rabbit said, get your wooden spoons. If you don't have wooden spoons, maybe mom or dad had two magic markers you could clack together like this, right? Or you want to make a clickety-clack, clickety-clack, whoop. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> All right, you get your clickety clackers out and we say clickety clack, clickety clack, going down my railroad track. Clickety clack, clickety clack, choo choo, here I come. Choo choo, choo choo, here I come. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Pennsylvania, you can take a steam train ride. 
Nowadays, they run on diesel fuel, just like a car engine. They run on oil or gas, right? So um, the engine is very, very big and strong and can pull many, many cars. One side of the river are most of the passenger trains, and the other side of the Hudson River are all the freight trains. So let's count the engines. You ready, friends? One little, two little, three little cars. These are the cars. There might be coal in there. There might be groceries in there. There might be pigs in there. We don't know what's in them, but they're big containers. Then they get taken off and put on the back of a truck and brought to the grocery store or the pet shop. Right, friends? So we say, we're going to call them cars, train cars. One little, two little, three little train car, four little, five little, six little train car, seven little, eight little, nine little train car, ten little train cars behind that engine. The engine is at the front. We can count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or we can speed up, and that's the tempo. If we go Let's learn about tempo, T-E-M-P-O, 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 and that is tempo, and that is tempo, and that is tempo, and that is tempo. Tempo is the speed at which I go. Tempo is the speed at which I go. So we have largo, largo is slow, like a turtle. And fast, fast is presto, like a rabbit, like a bunny rabbit. Like a bunny rabbit is presto, that's very fast. Allegro is happily walking speed. We have three speeds today. Let's do three speeds today. All right, so we're going to go fast, slow, and medium today. We're going to go presto, say presto, that's fast. Presto, fast. Allegro is walking speed, walking speed. Allegro means happy, walking, walking speed, medium, and slow, slow, like a turtle, largo. We have to do three speeds or tempos today when we sing, I've been working on the railroad. I've been working on the railroad. Hey, whose grandparents or parents work on the railroad? My friend Henry, my friend, my son Henry's friend Niall's mom works on the railroad. She's that voice you hear. She was, I think, a conductor. Um, and then she moved to being the person who says, please watch out for the closing doors on the train. Yeah, that was her. And sometimes Niall would be on the train and hear his mom talking to the passengers, keeping them safe. Ready, friends? Woo! -hoo! Should we do a little whistle? This is my train whistle. It's made out of wood. It's a wind instrument. I have to blow into it to make it work. It doesn't have strings. I love these wooden train whistles. You can get one too. I'll tell you how later. Okay? I've been working on the <clears throat> railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Can you hear it, Alice? Rise up so early in the morning. Can you hear it, Molly? Can't you hear the captain shouting? Children, blow your horn. Leah, can you hear my train? And Maya and Alicia? Children, won't you blow? Children, won't you blow? Children, won't you blow your horn? Toot, toot. Children, won't you blow? Children, won't you blow? Children, won't you blow your horn? So we are doing Allegro medium speed. Someone's in the kitchen with mommy. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's in the kitchen with mommy. Strumming on the old banjo and singing. Bee by fiddly I go. Bee by fiddly I go. Let's do B5 fiddly IO at three different speeds. We already did Allegro, that's medium. Let's do fast. B5 fiddly IO, B5 fiddly IO, whoa, whoa, whoa. B5 fiddly IO, strumming on the old banjo. Woo, that was fast, that was. Let's 
presto, say presto, presto again.
happy walking speed. Good job, friends. All right, let's sing another song about being on a train. Um, oh, I wanted to share with you my favorite book about trains, The Little Engine That Could. Do you know, you know this book? You have it at your house? Oh, it's my favorite book about trains. Hooray, me too, me too. The Little Engine That Could, don't give it away. Don't give away my story now. Friends, moms and dads, this is by Waddy Piper and it's, it's a very, very, very old book. Um, of course, this copy isn't. Please don't get the abridged version. You want the original version because there's a lesson in here that the abridged version doesn't have. So I love the il illustrations. Once upon a time, there was a little engine and that engine had a job. It was a red engine. A little red engine, red, R-E-D, red. Red engine would take all the toys and the stuffed animals and the food and the books to the children on the other side of the mountain. Yep, he had teddy bears and giraffes. He had toys, toy dolls and toy clowns and books and games and all kinds of things for children to play with. I like this page with the old fashioned games. Healthy food for children to eat like spinach and broccoli and apples and oranges and kale and milk for your healthy bones or soy milk or any other kind of milk and treats, dessert. That was on the train too. And once upon a time, that train broke down. It couldn't go anymore. I don't know why. Maybe it ran out of steam. Hmm. It ran out of water and it ran out of coal to make the steam go to make, oh no. And all the dolls and the toy monkeys and the giraffes and the bunny rabbits and the clown got off the train and said, hey, little train, what happened? And the red engine said, I'm so sorry. I can't pull you anymore. Something broke down. Well, the clown tried to fix it, but he did not have any luck. So he waved his flag and said, stop, stop everybody. He waved down a little yellow engine going by. He said, hello, yellow engine. Hello, shiny new engine. Can you pull us over the mountain? Our red engine has broken down. And the yellow engine said, puff, 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 puff. Me, moi, pull the likes of you. Why, you are a silly old engine. And you are nothing but a bunch of clowns and dolls and toys. <laughs> I am too important. Poof, poof, poof. Chug, chug, chug. And off went the shiny new engine. And the dolls and the toys said, oh, boo-hoo, what are we? They were sad. They wanted to get over the mountain to see the children. Hmm. Along came another train. This is a big, big black engine, shiny and strong. And the clown waved his flag and he said, oh, stop, stop, shiny engine. Will you please pull us over the mountain to the children? We're full of toys and books and games and good food to eat. And this engine said, ho, ho, get out of the way. He said, I'm too busy and I'm too proud. Get out of my way. Well, that wasn't very nice at all. What do you think? Hmm. So far, they've asked two other engines to help me. They said, help me, and those two engines said, no, no, no. Huh, what do you predict will happen? Hmm, how do you think it will end? Do you think they'll go over the mountain? How will they get there? Well, the red engine is broken, and the yellow engine said, I'm too important, get out of my way, no. And the big black engine said, bah, bah, bah. I'm too important, move it. What? Well, uh-oh, now they're getting really, really sad. I think the cry. oh, well, I think the clown almost cried. Then comes along an old, tired engine. He said, I'd really like to help you, but... <sighs> oh, pardon me, I'm just great. I need a nap. I'm so sorry. Even though you said please, I cannot help you. 
I'm sorry. Oh, I need to get back to the roundhouse and take a nap. <sighs> toot, toot, woo. I don't think he was going to help them at all, do you? Oh, now the clown is sad, and the dolls are sad, and the <laughs> toy elephant and giraffe, I don't know if they're going to make it over the mountain. And along came a shiny new blue engine. <gasps> Look at the shiny new blue engine. Look at the shiny, whoa, he's fresh. And he's not pulling any cars and he's even smiling. He's a little guy and he's brand new and he's cute. I think he's cute too. Hey, little blue engine. Hey, little blue engine, you say. Hey, little blue engine. Hey, little blue engine. Can you help us? Will you bring all of our cars full of toys and books and games for the children over the mountain? Can you help us? And the little blue engine, what do you think he's going to say? What do you think? Yes? No? Do you think he'll say yes or no? Hmm, what do you think? What do you think, Kelsey? Will he say yes or no? Charlie, what do you think? Malachi, what is he going to say? Isaiah, what do you think? Isaac? Hmm, he says... Well, me? You want me to help? Really? Really, guys? You want me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Well, oh gosh! I don't know. I've never been over the mountain before. Um, wow, really? Oh, guys, I don't know. What do you think? Really? And they said, well, you're our only hope, and, well, we think you can, and we really would like you to try. And he said, hmm. He says, well, can you hear a siren? That's not a train, that's different. And he says, well, I'd like to try, sure, why not? Um, I think I can, I think I can. And all the dolls and toys said, we think you can too. All right, guys, well, hook up the trains, hook up the cars, let's go, let's give it a shot. I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. He put it in his mind that he could. And what do you think happened? Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. You say it, chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Say chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. He hears you, chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, think I can, I 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 think I can, and up and up and up he went to the tippy tippy top of the mountain. Ooh, that was the hard part, right? I think by the time he got to the top, it was so hard to pull. He must have been going slow, and he said, whew, gets to the tippy top of the mountain, and down he goes with the cars behind him into the valley. Here he is coming up to the tippy tippy top of that mountain, friends. Do you see him tippy tippy top pulling that train? Chug, chug, puff, puff. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And sure enough, wee down the mountain he goes pulling all those cards of yummy, yummy treats for the kids and toys and books and games just in time for the morning. And he says, I knew I could, 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 oh, I knew I could. And the, and the dolls and the, and the clown and all of the toys said, hip, hip, hooray, little blue engine, hip, hip, hooray, little blue engine, hip, hip, hooray, little blue engine, yay, oh, Good. Wow. Can you see that? Wow. My favorite book of all is The Little Engine That Could. He could. He first thought, I think I can. He tried and he could. He had a lot of support from his friends. See, there's so many good lessons in that. Did you like that book? Thumbs up. If you like that book, put a thumb up and wave it. Oh, I see a lot of thumbs up. I see a lot. And someone says, I want more. You want more to the story? Hmm. I don't know if there's a second book. We might have to write it ourselves. That little engine that thought he could again. All right. Let's sing another song. 
And this song is about the caboose, a little red caboose. The caboose is the last car on the train, and it was red because when it went by, people knew that was the end of the train, and they could lift the barriers and go over the train tracks. Little red caboose, little red caboose, riding behind the train. Little red caboose, little red caboose, riding behind the train. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Do you have a ticket for this train? And you put your stuff inside and you put your tape on it. 
You put your electrical tape around it and you shake it. All of a sudden, you have an instrument to play that's different than your voice or your body. It's a different instrument. You have shaker eggs too. So friends, if you have leftover eggs after Passover and Easter and spring holidays, put some rice inside, close it up, tape it with some electrical tape, and you will have some shakers too. Will you make some? Thank you for sharing your eggs with us. So let's sing a, a song about hobos, hobos. In the olden days, homeless people traveling on trains could kind of jump on a freight train that was open and take a ride to the next town. And um, this song is called a hobo lullaby. I always like this song because I think it's very sweet. So someone said, where do you get all your songs from, Miss Emily? Well, I remember a lot of them from my whole life. I remember a lot of songs. But I also learned a lot of songs out of this cool book called Rise Up Singing. Rise Up Singing. You can get this book too. And now you can hear the melodies so you can teach yourself the songs. Oh, I have a lot of favorite song books I'll be sharing with you. This one is called The Hobo's Lullaby. And it goes like this. Whoop. It goes, go to sleep, you little hobo. Okay. Go to sleep, you little hobo. Let the cars go rolling by. Can you feel that freight train rumbling? That's the hobo lullaby. Go to sleep, you little hobo.
were a lot of really, really good train songs we sang. Did you enjoy those train songs? I did too. All right, friends, it's almost time to say goodbye. So hold on. Hey, Teddy Bear says, you never gave me a hat, Miss Emily. Oops, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, Teddy Bear. Let me give you a little hat to wear. All right, friends, you can keep that hat that I gave you to wear. Just keep it for the next time. Don't forget to bring your clackers so you can clack along, wooden spoons and some shakers that you can make yourself. Teddy Bear, did you enjoy? I did too. Yes, John the Rabbit took a break today. He's very busy. I think he might work for the Easter Bunny. All right, friends, so we'll sing Sing Your Way Home at the end of the day. Special shout to all the workers who are making the groceries happen for us and all the nurses and doctors caring for all the sick people, and I hope you are well. Say thank you for tuning in. I will see you again on Monday. From now on, the show will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right, friends, not Saturday or Sunday, but I'll see you on Monday. And we say, sing your way home at the end of the day. Sing your way home from the shadows away. Smile every mile for wherever you roam. It will brighten your road. It will lighten your load if you sing your way home. Okay, we will see you on Monday, friends. Bye-bye.